hello everyone and welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning in to my channel welcome my name is Renita thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video if you are a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by again to watch this video also I appreciate you continue to come back to watch any content that I put out um, thank you so much so in today's video I thought I would do something a little bit different and just kind of talk about how we went about paying off our home in Colorado um, but let me first start off by saying that I'm not offering any type of financial advice I'm not a financial expert I'm just sharing with you what we did and how it works it worked for us and just just my opinion and some people will agree I understand that and some people won't and that's fine too 2014 is when we purchased the house that we ended up paying off in Colorado Colorado Springs Colorado and so um, going back to 2014 at that time the market was still not great um, it was on the rebound from 2008 the crash the financial crisis the bubble bursting whatever we actually purchased the cheapest house in our neighborhood at that time of the home that we were looking to purchase actually sat right next door to the model home that house that we were looking to purchase which was a short sale sat right next door to that house the house that we were looking to buy had sat vacant for almost a year so the front yard was in in pretty bad condition and it sat next to the model home and actually you know the the builder did not like that um you have the model home and you have this house right next to it the grass is in a bad state just because it's been unkept for a year so we put an offer in on on the house and we end up getting the, the house oh but let me also add also with it being next to the model home once we went on the contract with that house and i think once we yeah i think we were still on the contract and in the the builders of the the builders that you know were had the model home right next to us they were like do y'all mind if we just go ahead and and saw it the front yard because they didn't like the fact that people were coming into the neighborhood stopping at the model home to buy a house but the house that we were looking to buy was right next door to it and it was looking a mess in the front yard so we was like okay yeah sure <laughs> so, so they they put brand new side down and so we was already we hadn't even the house wasn't even officially ours yet because we hadn't closed on it but we had new side to start or whatever but like i was saying this house ended up being the cheapest house in the neighborhood so we we purchased the home and we were staying there for you know a little while well we had been there maybe about a year and we had another house in colorado springs that we had some tenants in and it was a bad situation so we ended up having to we were going to fix that house up to get it ready to to sell also so we decided to move back into that home so the house that we purchased there was a short sale that was a next to the model home we um we rented that one out also for one year so we moved out of, of that one to go ahead and take care of the other home and we ended up getting that one taken care of and getting it ready to go on the market and we were able to sell that house so the first house we purchased in colorado springs we were able to sell that one and then we moved back into the house that we purchased as a short sale I guess I should have said also both houses that we purchased in Colorado Springs were short sale homes so already you can kind of see where I will be going with this at some point <laughs> so we purchased short sale properties that's that's what we did um, we, my husband came to me at some point and was just like how about we look at paying this house off too so if you watched my previous video which was like a two-part video i'll link it um in the description and um i'll probably just put a card up also that video was basically about some of the things that we personally chose to unlearn as it related to like debt and everything so i mean <clears throat> just just a, as a little bit of background my husband and i we have had no credit card since we've been married um i'm trying to see how many when we came in when we first got married we we came in with like some car debt 
but at some point, I think back in like 2004 is when we got rid of car debt and we have not had any debt attached to cars since that time. So we don't, we don't have any car payments. We don't have any credit cards. And so now we're back in the, the time when we purchased, you know, the house in Colorado Springs, the second home, 2014. So the first house we purchased in Colorado Springs at this point has been, we sold that house and we did make some money from selling the house, but it was not enough money to pay off the second home that we had purchased. So how we went about paying off the house, this is what we are here to discuss today. Like we did have money saved and we had some proceeds from the first house that we had sold, but it just all boiled down to just hard work. And they, I mean, and we had to be, diligent about the money that we had saved pre you know we'd already had saved and then when we made the proceeds that we had from selling our house we could have easily just went out and did whatever we wanted to do have a good time or whatever but we chose not to do that we saved that money but we still had a good bit of money left to 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 accumulate to pay that house off and when he brought the idea to me it wasn't a, a hard decision it was kind of like goodness you know that's a lot of money we we never had to just save that type of money um and tour and, and and have it go towards like we're gonna pay this off <laughs> so that was the first time we had been faced with a challenge as great as that but when he brought it to me it wasn't like absolutely not I, my, my mind didn't even go that way i did think of like man that's a lot and so what i i did i um i drew like i literally like took two pieces of like cardstock it was like you know like construction type paper or whatever cardstock paper and I drew a house and I um, used a ruler and made lines every segment every line represented a thousand dollars and so I started from the bottom just drawing the lines up all the way up to I put a, a chimney on the house and just drew lines all the way going up and every time we save a thousand dollars I would take a a color pencil or marker different colors and shade off a of color and so just imagine starting from the ground starting from the bottom uh, on that picture the, the 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 ground of the house the bottom part of it and having to go all the way up go up to the roof and then go past we're going to the, the chimney and that's what I did and I, and I put it on the back of my door in my closet and just like Every time we save a thousand dollars, we just I was shaded off, and sometimes it wasn't just it, sometimes it wouldn't be that we it would just be a thousand. Some we work so hard and we look at the money we save for the month, you may be able to shade off you know three or four thousand, whatever. But we say I would shade off a thousand every time, and so just to just looking back on that today, just thinking about how it was, it was kind of you know. Not so much that you you felt defeated, but just knowing, like, man, look how far we have to go. But every time I shaded in the color, it just it showed the pro the progress. And I can look back at that picture today and apply that picture to you know other th other things that may have come up in my life. Okay, just look look here. It started with this. You had to build. You had to keep going. You had to keep going. And that's what we did. And so we, we it was times that which this was nothing new to us we we have learned to say no to things because we chose a lifestyle back in uh i'll just say 2004 we wanted to be free of debt we did not want the burden of debt to be a part of our lives or where it controlled you know so much of our lives or whatever so we made a decision back in 2004 we want to be debt free and not so much and it wasn't like a fad or a phase or like a, a bandwagon type thing. We didn't jump on the bandwagon and like, okay, we're going to do this because that's what's popular now to do. It's just a way of life that we adopted and we stayed the course. It just boiled down to hard work. We owned a business in Colorado Springs and we were just focused and we were working hard. And some, we were working hard. <laughs> we were saving money. We, we were paying our you know bills as far as utilities, insurance, everything like that and buying groceries but a lot of extra things we were not doing at the time our middle son uh was playing travel ball which he still plays basketball but it was times that 
we had to send him when they would go out of town, go out of you know to state to play. We had a great team um, that we were part of, and they they were, we were family. They didn't mind that we were we would send him. I mean, we we didn't send them and expect for them to to pay for anything on his behalf. But as far as us, we didn't bring the whole family because we were taking measures to like, okay, we're gonna cut costs any way that we can. He's gonna go play basketball, but we're not gonna go you know, and stay three or four nights in hotels and eat and out and do all that or whatever. So just for a time, we just had to stay focused. It's not going to be forever. We're just going to do this for a time, you know, a limited time just until we get this tackle. And that was like the biggest thing that we had to do at the time was we didn't have to, but we made a decision to do it. We're going to pay this house off. And so it took a lot of dedication from us working and saying no we couldn't go we turned down going on cruises with, with couples that had invited us or whatever but we knew that one day you know this is not gonna last forever once we're done with that we'll get to do things and one of the things that we said we were gonna do as a celebratory uh gift to ourselves for being for working so hard and being so diligent to pay off our house we we're gonna go to africa and it, at the time i was thinking okay we'll just go for like two or three weeks we'll go to africa and say we've been here and we get to go but that turned into like a whole other thing we were in africa for over 10 months and i have a lot of videos on that so if you want to go back and watch some of those feel free to do it but yeah it just took hard work we were diligent we did like i said we did have money set aside that we had uh, saved just from working and saving money and then we had money um from the sale of a house but we still had a lot to go so just saving just every thousand added up to what we needed and just shading off the thousand as we went and um we did it and just to think and it, it's just so crazy to think that it seemed like wow how long is this gonna take and and we started the process i think in the video i have a, a little i even made a short about it we started the process of working actively to pay our house off in like 2019 by 2020 we were sending the last check off to the bank to pay our house off and that just kind of shows you just how hard we were working <laughs> looking back on it I, I mean i wouldn't purposely just like i'm gonna just go go out and just go get a bunch of stuff and get in a bunch of debt because i know we can pay it off i wouldn't do that but it was just man i mean that was like a huge thing and just to know that we were diligent in doing and working hard to get this accomplished and we were able to do it and so that's that's what we did we just we saved money we we cut costs we said no two things and we worked hard and we we were able to to pay our house off it was no i don't have any other magic formula i'm sure there's things out there that you know people continue to do this and do that or whatever but I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I just know what we did. And we just, that's just what it boiled down to. Hard work, dedication, determination. And it was, I know I keep referencing this picture that I drew of this house. But to see just going from level to level to level was just, man, we're we going we gonna to do this. We're going to do this. And it was just. It just brings even joy to me now to just know that we were able to accomplish that. So I would encourage anyone, if you are on a path to being debt free, and if you're looking at even paying off your house, and if, if that's what you want to do and that's what you're determined to do, do it. Don't pay attention to anyone. If it works for you, if it works for your family, and you are determined to do it, do it. Don't don't um, be... Uh, Don't let the, you know, like the influence of others that are saying you shouldn't do that be the reason that you choose not to do it because, you know, it's, it's, it's life changing to, to not, because, I mean, if you look at it, 30, 40 years to pay for a house every month, you paying for this house for 30, 40 years. And we were able to do it within like six years, but we actually only lived in the house for five years. So we lived in the house for five. We paid it off within six and you know a year at that time someone else was paying the mortgage for us so yeah i would encourage anyone if you're looking to be debt free in any way don't don't let what 
you know, people, society is saying that you should be doing or you should have or whatever be the reason that you that's keeping you from doing that thing. And like we did, like I said, we purchased short sale properties and that did kind of put us in a position to where yeah, we didn't pay the most for the house. Um, and so we had less to pay off. <laughs> and so I don't know if there's many of those properties available today, but at that time is what we did. And it, it ended up being a blessing for us, in my opinion. So that's, that's it. That's just it in a nutshell. Just hard work, dedication, determination, saying no to some things. And it's not a no for ever. It's just a no for the for the time that you're trying to accomplish your goal. And I think your goal, if you are determined to accomplish it, is worth saying no to some things. So I would like to know, what do you think? <clears throat> I know, you know, most people don't agree on that. I think it's a, um, just, you know, it's a small amount of people who would say, yeah, just, you know, be, be debt free. And I understand that too, because being debt free may not be so easy when you're trying to do all of the things that we see that people do, and we want to do it too. And it's, it it can be hard when you're relying on just your own money and not someone else's. So I understand that. So yeah, but let me know if if you paid off your house, if you paid off your car, would you know was it was it hard? Was it easy? Do you have any plans on going back into debt or has it worked for you? Has being debt free worked for you? Do you want to continue to be debt free or does it not matter either way? I know a lot of people say, well, you can't take it with you. Oh, well, <laughs> I understand that too. But while I'm here, I'll choose to just, you know, live a, a easier way um, of life and not be consumed with a bunch of payments because sharing this with my old with our oldest son it seems like when you're a kid you don't realize how the days and weeks and months are going by but as an adult you see like goodness i just paid this and now it's time to pay this again so we enjoy not having to be concerned with how many things we just paid so <laughs> we want to pay the least amount of bills as we can and so that's what we have you know, chosen to do and this work for us. But we are at the end of another video. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Thanks so much for watching. If this video has been helpful, if you learned anything, if you liked anything that I said, if you can take any of this information that I said, I mean, hard work is what it boils down to for us. That's what it boils down to. So if you are, you know, been thinking about being debt free, and you're working hard and just like you want to give up don't give up you are so close even though if you're starting at the bottom and you're shading off you're closer the first line being shaded in you it made you closer than no lines being shaded in so don't give up if that's what you're looking to do stay focused stay determined you can do it is is it can be done it may not be easy but it can be done and it's so worth it once you're done with it it's over you can look back on it and say we did it and you are forever be able to say that, that we did this we conquered this so if you took anything from the video that was helpful please give the video a thumbs up i like the video and even share it with someone if you know someone that's looking to do the same thing share it with them hopefully it can help we're not financial gurus but we know that we like to live a, a easier life and if less debt can help in that then we're all for that but again, thanks so much for tuning in. I look to um, continue to be able to talk about things like this on my channel because I enjoy it. I enjoy talking about ways to save or whatever. I mean, not from a um, a very professional standpoint, but I don't care if it's using a coupon or it's shopping secondhand. I enjoy that. So if you want to see more content like that, then let me know drop down in the comments and let me know if you like content like this and I'll, I'll look to you know do more of it but again thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next video and into the next one I'll see you later bye bye